about two weeks ago, I posted a CanCan -can type beat tutorial and uh, I use this beat that's loaded up in this FLP right here in the intro. Somebody asked me to deconstruct it, so that's what I'm doing right now. It's kind of like a glow, SGP West, Slum 6, Glory T type. And I started with this JC on the track loop. As for drums, all the sounds that I'm about to show you are in my Kanadas drum kit. First link in the description if you want to go get that. With the hella sounds, I've been using them in all my beats in the past like 15 videos. If you've seen any of them, then the drum sounds are probably from there. Here it is on the left side right here. It comes with 808s, bells, breaks, claps, hi-hats, hi-hat midis. Uh, one of the hi-hat midis I actually used in this beat. Uh, kicks, loops. It comes with my master preset, open hats, perks, snares, rims, risers. It's pretty much all you need, really. But enough self-promo. Here's the clap. Oh my god. And then I use this hi-hat and hi-hat midi from my drum kit. Sounds like this. And to get these rolls sounding like that what you want to do is go to the hi-hats and set the envelope to hold only that way whenever the hi-hat is not playing it just instantly cuts off whereas for example if you had just a normal hi-hat with like just a generic default envelope and then i copied the hi-hat over it would sound like this instead so you can kind of hear way too much bass it does it kind of like overlaps and it's kind of not what you want i got this snare And then an open hat. And then I have a second open hat, which only plays during the hooks. And I got this Chase the Money 808 uh, with like a small boost and the hold envelope as I have on most of my 808s. This might look a little complicated, but uh, stick with me here. Um, it's just playing on the C note and the C sharp note. I feel like I talk about it in every video, but going up by one note like this c to c sharp creates tension because you're going very close together in between the notes and so that's how the dark kind of sound comes about and since it was only two notes to make it kind of crazy and then the, like the sgp west slum six kind of vibe i just went crazy with the 808s putting the octave up putting slides and with the hold envelope having gaps makes a really good staccato kind of sound like this whereas if they were just all the way out it would sound like this and so the 808 overall sounds like this And then I added a second 808, which is just a spins uh, with the hold envelope and it's boosted by 7%. Almost the same pattern. This octave up C notes are octave down instead. Um, and there's just a couple extra notes here and there, but it's essentially the same pattern. It sounds like this. As for arrangement, the main part that's kind of crazy is this intro. So the intro sounds like this. And so the crazy part comes from the 808 not playing right away. You just hear these drums come in. And then I had the 808 hit here and I pretty much cut it at this clap right here. And then I pulled it back and duplicated it over four times to make a stutter effect. And then there's this little area where there's nothing playing so the tags can play. And then, um, of course, the open hat, the second one only plays during the second part of the hook. There's like a bridge section here where there's less drums playing. And then it just repeats again right here with the stutter again. And it's the same thing over and over. And yeah, that's how I made this beat. Or any other beats you guys have heard on my page and you guys want to hear it, just let me know. I'll deconstruct them too. Anyways, road to 1K, so sub if you want. I'll see you on the next video.